In this experiment, we are going to do experiment 18.1 from Chemistry O Level Practical Workbook. In the first experiment, we're going to test for ammonia gas. So, ammonia can be produced by reacting ammonium salt with sodium hydroxide and warm metal. So we're going to add some sodium hydroxide into ammonium chloride like so and we're going to heat up this mixture. We just warm it gently. Can you see the bubbles? The bubbles produced here. Okay. Should be enough. And then we put a damp red litmus at the mouth of the test tube to check the gas. And then we can see that the red litmus actually turns blue. So the gas must be alkaline. And that gas is ammonia. And you can also smell the ammonia. So you waft it like this. And you should be able to smell um, pungent smell. For the second test, we're going to test for carbon dioxide gas. So we can produce carbon dioxide by reacting any carbonate with hydrochloric acid. So here I have calcium carbonate and I'm going to react it with hydrochloric acid and you can see the fizzing happening there. So we're going to deliver this gas into lime water using delivery tube. So you can see how the lime water now turns cloudy. It started with a clear solution and now lime water turns cloudy. And that's because carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide solution, which is gray colorless, to produce calcium carbonate, which is white solid. Next test is for chlorine gas. We can react bleach with hydrochloric acid and then warm it up to produce chlorine gas. Oh, you can see actually no need warming anymore and we're going to test it using damp blue litmus paper so put the blue litmus paper at the tip and you can see that the color the blue color turns white so this means that bleach and let's see. let's see and that is the test for chlorine gas and if you smell it you waft it under your nose you can also smell this um, swimming pool smell the next test that we're going to do is a test for hydrogen gas and we can make hydrogen by reacting a moderately reactive metal with hydrochloric acid. So here I have zinc powder and you can see the fizzing happening. Enough hydrogen has been collected. Introduce a lighted split and it will create a pop sound. The next test is for oxygen gas and we can create oxygen by decomposing hydrogen peroxide. 
Hydrogen peroxide decomposes um, at room temperature and pressure without any special condition, but it does so very, very slowly. So if we want to make it decompose faster, we will just add the catalyst, manganese dioxide or manganese 4 oxide. So we just need a little bit of this. You can see the fizzing happening. oxygen gas is created. When there is enough oxygen gas produced, we introduce a glowing splint. Glowing splint relax. The next test we're going to do is the test for sulfur dioxide gas. And we can produce sulfur dioxide gas by reacting a sulfite salt with hydrochloric acid. So in this experiment, I'm using sodium sulfite. And in the beginning there, you might uh, be able to see the uh, bubbles produced. Now, to test for sodium sulfide, we need acidified potassium manganese. So, on this filter paper, we're going to drop one or two drops of acid, hydrochloric acid here. And then we dip this into potassium manganese. Seven. Potassium manganate 7 is purple in color. It's a very good oxidizing agent. And when sulfur dioxide is present, it's going to oxidize sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. So let's put this at the mouth. can see that the um, purple color of manganate 7 now has been decolorized. So purple to colorless. That means sulfur dioxide gas is present. And when you smell it, it, gives, uh, it makes you want to choke, wants to cough. 